there are three main indications for lung function testing in children. First is in the form of pre-operative evaluation of a child who is awaiting a major surgery. Next indication is in the form of uh, evaluation of a child with respiratory symptoms such as to confirm a diagnosis of asthma. Next is to monitor a child with a respiratory pathology. There are four main lung function tests done in children. The simplest of all is peak flow metry done by a peak flow meter. Peak flow metry is done by this simple equipment called peak flow meter. And with this, we asked ask a patient to blow out as fast as possible after taking a deep breath in. This is not a very accurate test, so that it is usually done to monitor a, chi a, a child's own disease condition, such as asthma. Next test that we do in children, and is commonly done in children, is through spirometer which is done through this gadget called spirometer. There are different forms of spirometers available and there are so many very user friendly portable equipments in use now. The test is used to determine mainly the forced vital capacity and the forced expiratory volume during the first second. And this test will need cooperation of the child so that this test is not possible in small children usually less than 6 years of age. Next test is body plethysmography that we do in children because spirometry will not be able to give us the residual volume so that the lung capacity cannot be determined. For that, we use this test called body plethysmography, which needs the child to be in a airtight chamber, and we test the total lung capacity in that. Other tests that we do in children is when we suspect a child to have interstitial lung disease and related conditions, we are suspect the diffusion of gases from alveoli to the red cells is impaired. And again, this will need the child to be in an airtight chamber and to breathe in certain types of gases, where the machine will calculate the diffusion capacity of the lungs of the child. 